In Timing Basics, we saw how to start and record split times and cadence data for a single athlete. Let's look at how to time multiple athletes at the same time, beginning with the recording of start times for different start configurations. As before, we begin by selecting all the athletes we want to time next and swiping over to the watch view. Next, we have to let the watch know when each and every athlete started. Let's assume that the three selected athletes start sequentially one after the other, like multiple swimmers on a single lane would do. In this case, the first athlete starts, we tap the start split button. The next one starts, we tap the start split button again, and so on. The watch generates one start time record for every starting athlete, showing start delay to the left of the record. In this example, Mike started first with no delay, followed by Ryan about 10 seconds later and Chris about 20 seconds later. What about if Mike wasn't the first to start, but Chris? In this case, once the start phase is over and we have some time before the next split, we tap on the record of Chris, hold for a moment until the record visually comes up, then move Chris to the first record and let go there. The watch adapts athlete assignments for the other time records on the fly automatically, minimizing timekeeper's effort. Again, tap a record until it comes up, move it around and let go to drop the athlete at the right spot. Notice that while it looks like we were moving time records, in reality time records always stay at their place and only the assigned athletes change. Now so much for the purely sequential start. How about three swimmers on two lanes? In this case, two athletes would start together, followed a little later by the remaining third athlete. To communicate this start scenario to the watch, we tap the start split button with the first starting group and, by pressing the button again within around a second after the previous tap, we add further athletes to the first start group. Then another separate tap once the remaining athlete starts a little later. Notice that the watch recorded two start time records with no start delay and one with a delay of about 11 seconds. Like before, we can now correct athlete assignments if required, for example by moving athlete Chris into the first start group. With a procedure such as this, we can create any configuration of multiple groups starting one after the other. For five swimmers on three lanes, for example, we start the first group, tap again to add another athlete and one more tap for the third athlete. For the second group, we tap to start and tap again for the fifth and last athlete. There is one further shortcut by which we can start all remaining athletes together. For example, if all five presently selected athletes start at the same time, we can tap once at the start and then tap four further times within a short amount of time. Or we can just tap the button on start and hold it for a moment. The watch then generates five time records with identical start times. And that's it for starting multiple athletes in arbitrary start configurations while pushing just a single button.